Hi guys, it's Leaky here and this is just a quick little uh, intro for this video because I did film this video um, a good five or six months ago and it's like a small yoga brand and then um, they kind of were like, oh yeah, we're just quickly going like on a break and we'll have our spring summer collection out soon. So I was like, okay, then I'll just wait to post this video until they're back online. And to this date, it has not happened yet, but the website still says, oh, we'll, we'll be back. I'm just gonna insert the screenshot here. Um, yes. So I've now decided it's enough waiting time and I'll just wanna show you this video. It's some cute stuff. Maybe you can find it also somewhere online if people resell stuff. Um, or, you know, you can just, if you liked it, you can just watch and see if the website actually comes back at some point. I know that some changes were like, you know, some people leaving. It, um, it was owned by two women and one of them decided she uh, wanted to do something else. So, you know, there was a little bit of restructuring as well. Maybe it just took them longer than they thought. And um, yeah, so that's just a quick little disclaimer for this video, but we'll just get right into it. Hi guys, it's Leaky and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leaky and I'm a real lot of activer. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today I have a new brand for you guys. It's a very small one. It's a women owned one. So it's like, you know, small business. Um, there's a lot of like good stuff happening. Uh, very artsy designs, hand drawn like prints and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a lot of, um, you know, small business things and I always like to support that and it's very like female empowerment and stuff like that so yeah we have some wild prints so if that's not your thing I'm sorry I do like wild prints though I do like a lot of colors so that's what we have today as well and um yeah some leggings some you know crop tops we even have some sweatpants so yeah let's do that so the brand today is called Pitalia and um you know I recently went home uh over christmas and they do have like a store in berlin because one of the co-founders she lives in berlin so you basically can just like go there i think once a week they do have like a few hours where you can basically go there and like physically try on pieces so um and it was actually really nice and i thought you know if i'm already there i might as well just do that instead of ordering something and then it doesn't fit and um, I also do think they do that in Barcelona as well, because I guess one of the co-founders maybe lives there as well. So if in Barcelona or Berlin, you can actually physically go there. Otherwise, you can order online without a problem. And yeah, so I did try on a few things there. Um, she helped me also choose some items, like choose the fabric and the sizes and stuff. So that was really, really nice, a really good experience. And they have two different fabrics, like I mentioned. So I will just quickly go into that. So we do have like a recycled polyester fabric, which is a little bit more like stiff, but like it's still like, it still has some stretch, but not as much stretch basically. So for this one, I actually did go for a size medium in the top when I generally is small. And they do have a bamboo cotton fabric, which is a little bit more cottony, surprise. <laughs> a little bit less sweat wicking, but also a little bit more stretchy and a little bit more comfortable, which I could stick with my normal size with. So, you know, just keep that in mind. So there's two different fabrics. So if you do decide to check out their website, um, just make sure which fabric you want. I'm not sure if all the pieces come in like all the fabrics or like some patterns. I think some patterns come in the one fabric and some in the other one. So, you know, I guess you can also decide by that uh, what you what you want. Um, but just keep in mind, if you go for the recycled polyester, you might want to size up. And with the uh, cotton bamboo one, you could even size down for the leggings at least. That's what I did. But yes, let's get into the pieces. So we'll start with the recycled polyester top, which is the active crop top in the print Leopatra. So Leopatra because it's like, you know, like a leopard print and there's the cat on there as well. So like I said, the prints are a little wild and this is the recycled polyester fabric. So it is 75% uh, recycled polyester and 25% elastane. So like I said, it still has some stretch, but it's definitely a little bit more stiff. Um, it's definitely also like sleek and a little louder. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely tell like it's more of a recycled polyester, if you know what I mean. Um, the, these pieces are made in Turkey, so like not in China or somewhere, uh, but like a little bit closer to Europe. And I think one of the other, one of the pieces actually even produced in Barcelona. So yeah, they're not like the cheapest, but I think the crop tops aren't that bad at, at all. Like, and um, yeah, so let's talk about this piece. <laughs> so 
We have like this little crop top here. It's like, you know, long enough. I think a decent cropped length. We don't have a built-in sports bra, nor do we have built-in cup pads. So it's really just like a single layer here, um, which for me, for my small chest, is enough for like yoga and stuff. And with a wild print, it also kind of distracts from the nippage if there's any. Um, we do have like a lower neck here, but not too low, still gives you enough coverage. Then you have two thin straps that kind of just go into this minimal back situation here. And like I said, with this recycled polyester top, I did size up to a size medium um, because I tried on the small and it was like a little tight under the arm specifically and the medium fits perfectly fine now. Um, so keep that in mind. I think this print is also currently on sale. Um, but yeah, you can check out the website and see. Uh, she gave me this just, you know, as a as a gift, basically. Um, we do have a little bit... Well, it's not little, but there's the Pattaya logo on there. So it's also very colorful. But like with all the colorful print situation things happening, it's not really, really super obvious. But it's basically always going to be this color for the print. So all of the prints are going to be in this. All the prints, all the logos are going to be in this kind of like orange bluish uh, situation. Um, yeah, but like I think it's like there's a lot happening for sure. We have like the purple, the white, we have the cats, some stars. I think there's some some flowers here as well. And uh, yeah, like I think their prints are kind of hand drawn, definitely like designed um, by artists. And we also do have always like there were some cute hang tags on these as well. So you have like this little hang tag. Um, and it also says that you know, they're supporting anything that's colorful, crazy, and joyful. And with every design we take, you and anybody looking at your pitayas on a little journey, we hand sketch every design with watercolor and gouache drawings. And in the process, bring together our passion for art, creativity, and movement. So, yeah. And the, it also says that the minds behind the brand have a strong wish to contribute socially. Part of the income is donated to organizations that fight for refugee rights, women empowerment, the LGBTQ movement, animal rescue, mental health, and climate activism, amongst others. So there's a lot of... Um, stuff happening and they also say they're pure-hearted women let uh, pure-hearted women let label that designs are limited editions to make space for new creations so yeah they always um i don't think they generally bring back stuff uh i've definitely like checked through their instagram and they've they've been there since like already like a few years before covid as well and um they definitely did have a lot of different prints back then as well so yeah but this is the leopatra print and let's just see it on all right, let's talk about this active crop top. So this one was made from this polyester material, so it's like a little, like feels a little just bit more performancey. It's also a little more stiff, a little less stretchy, which is why I have the size medium in this one because the small did cut in a little bit here. So just keep that in mind for like the active one, I would go up a size basically. Um, and I usually wear like smalls and sometimes even extra smalls. So just keep that in mind. This one, I don't know. I don't know if I would consider it like an active top because support wise, not that much because you don't really have like any built in sports bra or like not even cup pads. So I don't know. Still feels more like a, a yoga top, a lounging top. And on the size medium, I really don't mind the, this here. Like, like I said, that's why I cut in when I tried on the small, but like this actually feels quite nice now. And yeah, this is the Leopatra pattern. So it's like a little bit more, um, you know, cat uh, leopard uh, vibes and like a little bit more purple. Still very wild. Uh, you have some stars there, some like other shapes and stuff. And lengthwise, it's the exact same as the bamboo one uh, that I had in this more space, spacey print. So like kind of hits me at my waist, actually at my natural waist. So if you wear it with like a high waist, a pair of like joggers, for example, or like leggings, it kind of looks like you're wearing a bodysuit. Um, of course, you could also just try to like make it a little bit shorter, like folding it up a little bit, right? And then just do that. Um, we have thin straps here. I'm just gonna unfold this now. <laughs> it would be thin straps. They're not adjustable, but they fit fine. And then it's really just like a minimal uh, back situation, which I actually really do like. And the straps don't cut in at all. So it's also very comfortable to wear. Actually, I'm surprised at how comfortable it feels on the skin. Cause like when I was deciding which fabric I liked more and I touched this one, I was like, no. Because I really didn't like it, like I didn't like the feel of it. And to be fair, I didn't try on leggings in this pa in this in this fabric, so I really don't know how the leggings would feel. But top with the top, actually, when I tried them on, I didn't notice that you know it was too different. So actually, with the top, I'm quite okay in this in this uh, 
in this fabric yeah but yeah otherwise it's just a very simple top but it's, you know there's a lot going on and they all their prints are like a little wild so of course you have to like that um and you can mix and match the prints if you're up for it but of course you could also just pair this with like a you know black legging or like just a purple one or something and uh you know not be as wild but yeah it doesn't do much for the chest um with my small chest of course i'm okay usually wearing these things for like lighter activities um i don't would I, I wouldn't wear it for a hit workout obviously but you know for like a lighter yoga pilates thing for sure i could do that and um yeah it would be fine for me also i do get a decent coverage here on the sides because i don't have a big chest and also get good coverage up here so yeah you know and the shoulders are free it's a lot of free movement up here it doesn't really move too much with you and yeah that's it All right, moving on to the other crop top that I have that's made from this bamboo fabric. And this is this, uh, so basically just a crop top and it's called, uh, the print is called Space Boddity. Uh, I'm, I have no doubt it's inspired by David Bowie's Space Oddity. <laughs> and, um, there's a lot of stuff happening. So basically the base color is black and we do have like some stars and like some, like some swirls and a lot of colors. And if you look at the print closely, you'll see some, some shapes <laughs> that might remind you of some stuff. Um, and again, we do have this Pattaya logo here in the back. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. It's here. Um, right on top of something that is basically supposed to be a space boob. <laughs> so <laughs> there's some, some female shapes on this here, basically. You can also, I think they had like a blog post where they talked about like some of the shapes and the inspirations for this print specifically. And yeah, so basically this, um, this is the same crop top that we saw in the, that we just saw before. So the same shape, you have like this neck here, the thin straps, and then just like very minimal, like back situation here. Um, I think it's also the same length. Maybe it's a tiny bit shorter, but definitely otherwise the same shape. And this one here I have in a size small, simply because the fabric is a little bit more stretchy and uh, a little bit more comfortable. And this is 63% bamboo, 22% cotton and 15% elastane. So this is basically, yeah, def that's why it feels a little bit more cottony and a little bit more stretchy maybe as well. Um, yeah, and this one I would not wear for like a super intense sweaty things, but like definitely like great for like just chill and lounging, yoga, pilates, something like that, like some low uh, intensity things. And I think the print is just like super fun. It's very wild, but it's very fun. And um, yeah, let's see it on. All right, maybe this is a little wild for some people, but uh, we have a matching set with a little bit of a wilder print. So let's talk about this crop top. So this is made from this bamboo fabric and it's like really a little bit more cottony, very soft, very, very stretchy. So there's like a lot of like, you know, space in case you need a little bit more space. Um, it's like, has like this higher scoop neck here. We do have thin straps and in the back, just a very, very minimal, like teeny tiny Y racer back basically. So to show off your muscles and to like also give you freedom of movement, of course. Um, lengthwise, it hits me like here basically at my waist. And if you pair it with like a high waisted pair of leggings, I do have a longer torso, so you can't really, you can still see a little bit, but I guess if you have like a normal length torso, you probably would look like you're wearing like a full on bodysuit or something. Um, and yeah, it's like this like more cottony fabric. And of course, if you do stretch it out a little bit, like you can see that it pulls a little bit more white because it is lined with white. Same for the leggings, by the way. Um, but I think it doesn't really matter too much because the print is very wild. There's a lot going on. We don't have any removable cup pads or like any padding or anything. So just be aware of that. Support wise also, of course, like not really any <laughs> because of that. But I think it's like a perfect like lounging top, perfect yoga top, um, like stuff like, like if you just do very, very light activities. Um, I personally don't think that the nippage is so bad with the print <laughs> being so wild. So I don't think it would be super obvious. And like, it just feels comfortable to wear. Like it's not really tight here either. Um, like you might get a little bit of, of side boob here. Uh, for me, it's enough coverage, but you know, if you have like a little bigger chest, 
Um, and be aware, of course, that if you really wanted to wear this for like some activities, you probably would want to wear a sports bra underneath. But it's not like see-through or anything. So like it's not necessary to wear just for the coverage, but like for the support, basically. Um, for me, with my small chest, it's all good. You know, I don't necessarily need that, <laughs> but just keep that in mind. And yeah, I think the print is very fun. It's very detailed. Um, like I mentioned, you can read on their blog where all the shapes and stuff um, are supposed to be and what they're inspired by and I think it's just like fun. I don't wear black too much but like I saw this print and I was like yeah I mean I can do that because obviously like there's a lot of color involved and I like colors so yeah. All right, moving on to your matching leggings. I know for some people that might be a little much, but I just love it. So we have the leggings also in the space body tee print. So you can see a little bit more of the print, a little bit more different shapes, um, a little bit more space boobs. <laughs> so yeah, I recommend that you read up on the on the blog article about the shapes in the in the print because I think it's like super interesting to see. Um, I think there's also an eye somewhere like oh and there's a little planet here as well uh, I don't know here you can see it there with some rings even um, so I think it's a very fun print the leggings are like a very simple cut so we do have like a front seam on these honestly I didn't mind the front seam at all I didn't feel it we do have a top seam as well and um, so this is also the bamboo fabric so uh, the same composition I think um, oh no, actually a little bit less elastane. So this one is 68% bamboo, 28% cotton and 6% elastane. So a little less than on the top. Um, and these ones, th these leggings still feel like, I feel like they feel the same. Still very stretchy. You can see it here. Um, and it's basically a stretch more like in this direction. And then there's a little less stretch in this direction. So it's not like that much of a four way stretch, if that makes sense. Um, we do just have straight across seams here in the back. There you can see the Pattaya logo again as well. But as I mentioned, it's not like super obvious with everything that's going on here. Um, the print is printed on white, which is, uh, also was on the top. So of course, it's going to pull a little bit whiter um, depending on how much you stretch things out. So just keep that in mind. If you don't like that too much, maybe that's not your thing. Uh, I personally don't mind, especially because I think it doesn't really, it's not as obvious on the big colorful patches. Um, I did get these in a size small, so I did try on, uh, they didn't have a medium in stock in this print, so I did try on a small and a large. And the large is way too large and the small actually fit fine. I still even have a little bit of space around my waist, so definitely you can size down if in between for the bamboo fabric. I don't think I would do that for the uh, recycled polyester fabric though, because that one was definitely a little bit more compressive and she also mentioned that uh you know for that one it's probably better to size up if you're in between um yeah but otherwise like they just feel nice and comfortable just a little bit more cottony like i wouldn't wear these necessarily for like anything super intense so more of a yoga legging a lounge legging um and just like you know if you like to run around with like fun prints and stuff then just like an everyday one, maybe as wear, but uh, as wear as well. But let's see this one on. All right, here we go with the leggings. The leggings are also high waisted, so we do have a top seam here, um, and I will say that the top seam does help a little with making them stay up, but they still are sliding down a little bit on me because I do have a little bit of extra space here in the back. And this is a size small already. Um, I will say that I wouldn't have, like, I mean, there's other areas where it's a little tighter, obviously always size calves as well. Like, it's not uncomfortably tight, but like, I wouldn't want to size down just to get, you know, the perfect fit in my waist. And my butt also does fit. Like I mentioned already with the top, like some areas will pull a little whiter if you stretch them out a little bit more. That's just how it goes with like prints that are printed on black. The waistband is double lined, so here you still have like the print, but like when you go lower down, you see that there's a little bit of white um, underneath. We do have a front seam on these. I personally don't find the front seam in ways invasive at all. Like I didn't notice it at all. And we also do have like just straight across seams here in the back. And then also the, I think the Pattaya logo is on there. Yes. It's like not super, even though it's like a, a big, like it's a big word and it's like in a bright color, you can't really see it on any of the pieces because the pieces have like 
these wild prints so it kind of like disappears a little uh, which you know is I don't mind that because I don't like big branding and I think it actually I mean it matches the brand because it's just it's just there you know kind of like works together with the print a little bit um, but yeah so these leggings are made from the bamboo fabric so they are a little bit more stretchy than if you got like one of the polyester even though the cut looks the exact same I don't think I would have wanted to try a small in the polyester ones because they're more um, tight fitting less stretchy less forgiving I guess and yeah so if you're interested in like a print that comes in the polyester or you want to try the polyester ones don't size down <laughs> I would size up if in between for sure and I think she also says that some people size up in those in general so just keep that in mind depending on what what fabric you're looking for I personally like the like the bamboo fabric a little bit more um because it just felt more stretchy felt a little softer of course this is not like a high performance fabric it's like more of a yoga light workout less sweaty workouts uh, fabric because it's very cottony so just keep that in mind but I guess it's also personal preference um lengthwise these are a solid like you can pull them even a little bit longer but like a solid seven eighth length on me and you can even pull it a little bit more so even if you're a little taller it could still be a seven eighth on length on you um yeah I just like the print I like that it's like you know a smaller brand something different it's a little bit of artwork and yeah All right, we have an accessory and uh, we also do have one piece left. So, uh, but I want to take the accessory now because it's the same print. <laughs> so uh, I saw this bag that they had and it's like a massive tote basically. Um, I'll just insert some clips of me uh, just, you know, having it on my body so you can see how big it is. It is quite big. It's very spacey, spacey. I don't know. It has a lot of space for a lot of stuff. So you can definitely have a lot of things in there. And I just liked how big it was, how sturdy it was. So you have like these big, like, you know, just loops. You can easily like carry it over your shoulder. We do have, it's called a yoga bag for a reason because you can basically put a yoga mat here in the front and then still put all your stuff in here. It's lined with this purple color. And then you even have like two tiny pockets here in the back. So you have one right behind this here where you could put like, I don't know, your phone or something. And then you have one that's a little bit harder to get to where you could put your wallet or something. And then it's just like a big, a big void where basically a lot of stuff can go in. So I actually use this a lot uh, right after I got it for, you know, just running errands and uh, going to uh, a class and stuff like that. So yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of space for sure. And you have this fun print. It's very unique. It's like, very eye-catching and I mean it's art it's basically like you're running around with art right so definitely this bag is really really good I like it it's super handy very very sturdy and um, I enjoyed using it and I will enjoy using it in the future as well so yeah you've thought you've seen this one now and now let's move on to the last piece which might be my favorite um and I actually didn't I didn't even tend to get this because I was like how do I want this? Like, I mean, I'll see if they have it there. I'll try it on. And then I put them on and I was like, oh, okay. So I don't want to, uh, you know, <laughs> um, you know, I, I don't want to make this more exciting than it needs to be. Here we have some sweatpants. Oh, this is, this is the front. Uh, these are the Mr. T sweatpants or Mr. Ty. I don't know. Mr. T I sweatpants. Um, so they're just sweatpants. And they were just quite new when I when I uh, went there. They had just re-released them basically, so they had re-released. They had previously released these in this print. And it's just like 
uh, you have like the tigers on there and it's yes the white base color is white but like you have this like purple bluish tigers with the orange detailing and the black and I don't know I just like them and they're like they're not too stretchy but they're slightly stretchy and they just fit super nice like not too baggy but not too tight either we don't have a drawstring up top but we have this elastic that fits just nicely over my butt and then um, you have a little bit of cuffs here at the bottom just white cuffs and you also do have two pockets here in the front so you can put your tissues in there or something and it's just really really nice and soft without being too thick so it's not like it's not like a too thick sweatpant but it's nice and soft here on the outside and on the inside you have like this terry fabric but it's also super soft so it's not like scratchy or anything but really really nice and soft and comfortable and yeah in the back it's just like a normal sweatpant there's enough space for the butt which I really appreciate and yeah I just like these a lot they just feel good they uh I don't know they just you know fit nicely they're comfortable I've worn them a lot for lounging around the house recently so uh yeah ever since I got them basically I've worn these and they're just nice I like them a lot let's see them on all right let's talk about these sweatpants um I'm just gonna roll up the top a little so you can see the sweatpants a little better not like that they're hiding the sweatpants but it's just you know uh, makes more sense I think so these ones I've since I've gotten them I've worn them like a lot because I do like them a lot there are a size medium so I still have like a little bit of space here in the waistband there's no drawstring here but I mean it still fits nicely it's like not tight or, or anything and you know if I eat I c there's still expansion <laughs> and potential and also it fit nicely over my butt still you know because that's sometimes a problem uh, with like um, these like elastic waistbands we do have two pockets here which is also very very important I like my pockets so you have like you know they're not super big but they are big enough I can see if my phone would fit I mean it, it's like a little you know uh, showing a little bit like for tissues like keys or something it's nice and um, there's nicely high waisted so this is really where they're supposed to sit because we do have like a slight front seam but like there's still like a little bit of space here in the crotch area uh, as well and yeah they're just like super comfortable they're not super thick but they're still like super soft so like the fabric feels like really nice also on the inside the inside is more of a, like a terry but it's like a softer terry like it's not like a super scratchy or anything and then in the back it's just very simple not much happening and so for me lengthwise they kind of hit me here and you do have like this wider cuff here and there's also a little bit more extra space for calves so there's like lengthwise for me these are perfect they could be a tad longer but it's actually quite good and I guess if you're a little shorter I mean you have the cuffs so they wouldn't really fall too long either because of the cuffs and the cuffs aren't tight at all so it's really good I like really like these sweatpants I like how they feel on the fact that they're soft without being like too thick there's also some stretch to them like not too much but it's actually you know I was surprised at how well they fit with like my bigger butt thicker thigh situation because sometimes when you have joggers that are like you know supposed to be slightly oversized they're like super tight around here for me and I do size up like one or two sizes but now I stuck with like a medium which if I'm in like since I'm in between you know it's like still like I guess going for the larger size but that's like it fits perfectly like I have no complaints about this you know like I said lightweight but also still soft and comfortable so that's what I like about them and that's why they're perfect like lounging pants actually I wasn't too sure about like getting the sweatpants but then I tried them on I was like oh I should try that and like I, I haven't regretted it yet I also do like this print a lot and they've had this one before um and now they just brought this this back basically and it's like I don't know I think it's super cool I mean yes they're white which I'm a little worried about when I eat and stuff because I'm sometimes a messy eater but so far so good and yeah the print is fun there is a matching jumper that goes with this uh with the sweatpants the jumper is like has the sleeves with a pattern and then it's just white in the body and I usually don't wear those when I lounge at home too much so that's why I didn't get them Although now I'm like, it would be nice to have like a full set, but <laughs> yeah. No, anyway, like these white pants are really, really nice. I do like them a lot and I would buy another one immediately. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely do recommend these. They're not cheap, but they're like, I mean, it's a small brand, it's a women owned brand. Like they do their own like designs and it's really artwork and stuff. And 
they do produce them also in Europe, I think. At least the leggings I saw were produced in Portugal, I believe. So, yeah. You pay a little bit more, but you get something that's like ethically produced and stuff. So, and these are really, really good. So, yeah. All right, it's conclusion time. Of course, these things aren't super cheap, um, but you know, they're like from a small women owned brand. They support, uh, you know, a lot of good causes. Um, the sweatpants, my favorites, were even made in Barcelona. So not anywhere near China or wherever, but like really like, you know, it says it here in this tag made in Barcelona with love. You don't see that very often, I will say that. Um, and yeah, it's just like organic materials, recycled materials. Uh, we had bamboo, we have organic cotton here, we have the recycled polyester. So there's a lot of good things happening there. Um, I will say, of course, if you don't like wild prints, maybe this is not for you, but like they do have a lot of fun different prints to choose from. Some are even a little much for me, um, but that's okay. I really like the space one though, because of like, you know, all the things, um, like considered like it's, it's really, it's just artwork and it's very unique and you won't find this anywhere else. So it's really cool. It's always good to support small businesses as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, the things are comfortable. Like I said, the sweatpants are like really, really comfortable and I'm very happy that I got them. Um, even though I wasn't setting out to get sweatpants, you know, <laughs> um, yeah, they just fit really nicely. I can't complain about that. And it's always nice to like discover new brands to like, you know, find new things. I do like that there is an option to, you know, go try on the things. Obviously you need to be in the right city for that. Um, and you need to be in Europe, but see, sometimes it's nice if us Europeans also get something. <laughs> a lot of brands are like situated in North America and, uh, that's always a lot unfortunate, but yeah, like basically they operate out of Europe. So, uh, and if you live in Berlin or in Barcelona, you can check out their Instagram and I think they have their opening times for when you can actually drop by and just, um, try on things or even just pick up your order and save on the shipping. Uh, yeah, you can, you can check that out. Um, and they always do have like new prints coming, but yeah, it's usually like limited editions, smaller editions. So if you like something, you should probably then just, you know, uh, press the buy button um yeah but all i really had a good experience with them and uh, i can only recommend them it's not like i said not the greatest for like super high performance obviously but they are a yoga brand and also lifestyle so it's not intended for like you know your weightlifting or like your um hit workouts and stuff and that's also fine right so it, not everything needs to be perfect for every single workout that you do so yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you, you like to uh, discover new brands with me. If you like this video, give it your thumbs up. And also, if you haven't yet, you can subscribe to my channel so you get notified about all new upcoming videos. Um, there's a lot of things planned as always. Uh, if you have any suggestions for brands, for, you know, things I can improve, like, so if you have feedback as well, if you want to talk about this brand, if you want to talk about something else, if you want some recommendations, just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also follow me on Instagram and see some of the pieces in action there. You can also DM me there, but be aware that I'm way more likely to see your comments here. So, you know, if you want something from me, just, just leave a comment here. It's just easier. Um, yeah, otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye.